Hi everyone, I'm Sandra Ramaka, the author of Healing Foods, Cooking for Celiacs, Colitis, Crohn's and IBS. It's a recipe book based on the specific carbohydrate guide, which was developed over 60 years ago by Professor Sidney House in the US. It's a completely grain-free, starch-free, sugar-free and lactose-free diet. Um, if you want to find out more about the diet, please go to the website www cccibs.com. Okay, so today I'm going to be demonstrating on how to make one of the recipes called pumpernickel bread. And it is uh, vaguely based on a bread that I used to love as a child, a German bread called pumpernickel bread. Um, it's a, a very similar in taste. It's quite a dense, chewy, a very nutty loaf. It's fantastic with savouries and sweet toppings and also great scrambled eggs for breakfast. The ingredients we need today are 120 grams or one cup of walnuts, 30 grams or a quarter cup of sunflower seeds, 400 grams or four cups of almond meal, um, almond milk can also be called almond flour, a half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking soda um, or bicarbonate soda, it's the same thing, three eggs, 80 grams or a third cup of butter, and one teaspoon of honey. Alright, so we're going to take our walnuts and place them into our mixer with the um, sunflower seeds. But first, we're going to give them a sharp blade. Then pour in the walnuts with the sunflower seeds. And this we're going to chop up for about five seconds because we want to keep a little bit of crunchiness um, in, in the seeds and the nuts for the bread. So I just quick five seconds. That's perfect. Then we're going to take the sharp blade out and exchange it for the mixing blade. Then you'll put in and the almond meal, I keep that in the fridge. It keeps easily for three months, if not longer. Um, I have previously put it into the freezer, but then the danger exists that it might get a bit of moisture in it and the moisture will freeze as well. So you're better off just keeping it in an airtight container in the fridge. Alright, so then we're going to put in a half a teaspoon of salt and we're going to have one teaspoon of bicarbonate soda which will just help to make the bread a little less dense and then we we'll just give that a quick mix. So it's a good idea just to go in there gently, scrape around the bowl to bring the nuts loose from the sides and, and just give it another quick mix so that they can be distributed throughout the dough. Okay. Now we're going to um, get our eggs. to mix them until they're fluffy. It's best to keep your butter at room temperature because otherwise it will be very difficult to mix them in. Good. And just a teaspoon of honey which just makes it a little bit sweet but not too sweet. The bread will still be great for savoury as well as sweet on it. Just this about. And you could use an electric mixer which makes it a bit quicker but it's just as fast and easy as long as your butter is room temperature 
Okay, so I've bought the loaf out of the oven and um, I've tapped it and you'll be able to, well, you'll hear that it sounds kind of hollow and it has a sort of very crusty, biscuity top and you'll know it's done. And uh, also it absolutely smells fantastic. All right, here's our loaf, which I've now let sit for about 30, 40 minutes. It's still a little bit warm. Um, but uh, it's cool enough to cut. So the difference, of course, as I said, with store-bought bread, which has gluten in it and SCD bread, is that there is no gluten which binds the flour and the ingredients together, um, gluten being a, type, a kind of a glue. So you, you will find that um, it's quite a crumbly sort of bread. But that looks absolutely perfect on the inside. And it's because it is very dense and quite heavy, um, you would want to slice it quite thin. Once um, it's best to keep it actually in, in the fridge. You will find that the next day you can toast this bread quite easily and have it with butter and jam. It's the kind of bread that I prefer to have with my scrambled eggs. Um, but while it's nice and fresh, it's actually quite nice just to have it straight as it is. Um, but giving it a little toast actually will just bring out that nutty flavour again. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I have made myself four fantastic sandwiches here. Um, I'm very keen to get eating them. And I hope you enjoyed the video. This bread is really a fantastic alternative to store-bought bread when you're on the SCD diet. Um, it has a nutty fragrance, it has fantastic flavour, and let me know what you think when you bake your own loaf, and if there are any recipes that you have difficulty with in the Healing Foods cookbook, also write down in the comments, and I will endeavour to get a video out as soon as possible about it. So happy cooking to everybody, and uh, until next time.